Here we are with the Samsung QN90A. I got requests to see test patterns, so I'm gonna show you like the more stereotypical type of test pattern. So as you guys can clearly see, over here in this corner, we definitely do have haloing and blooming, and it looks almost exactly like that as I see it with my naked eye, and in fact, it looks worse on my end in real life. And again, you can look in all four corners and we have something very similar. And it gets a little better as we get towards the top with the, the top two not being as bad. So, you know, that's pretty much what I have there. Now, as we transition into different kinds of imagery here, like this, you're going to notice a couple different things. The first thing you're going to notice is that the crosses have blooming in basically all four corners. And it is actually, again, in typical fashion, worse with my naked eye as I see it in real life. And we can try to take a different angle to see if that's going to make any different and in, uh, difference. And instead, it just it, it's all the same and it looks just as crappy. So, yeah, it's not ideal. And we can even walk up on that and you guys can see up close, blooming. It's, I mean, it's very noticeable. If you have something that's going to be like this, it's going to be very noticeable. Now, if you want to replicate this same test that I'm doing, go onto this channel into the testing material playlist and then use the uniformity uh, test here. To be specific, this particular test, the black uniformity test, and you'll find it here on the channel. Now, as we move to something like this, it gets a lot better. It's nowhere near as like hazy as it was. And this is where the performance starts to get better. So again, it's not a total zero. It's not like it's failing everything. It's doing horribly. It really just depends on what's being displayed in the screen and where. So that's something to keep in mind. In typical fashion, as I am standing in front of it, again, it's pretty dark. I don't see anything. It's pretty clear. It's just faint glowing, but that's nothing that's going to be a deal breaker or ruin your experience. Things start to change for the worst, though, when we get to test patterns that look like this. So as you guys can see, there's a cross pattern and there is a good deal of blooming now. And I'm noticing it pretty much everywhere. Get a little closer to the crosses. You can see them and all of them have a substantial amount of bloom. And this is what I mean when I say local dimming is a band-aid. As you notice, the middle part here, this is completely blacked out. And then you have the center part and all this stuff that's just haloing really noticeably and that's what I mean the native contrast is not high enough to combat that kind of grayish black if you will and the local dimming zones while they're fairly tight it's still within full array territory and you're going to run into a situation where again it's just not as uniform as you would expect with Samsung talking about blooming free television and now when you talk about subtitles you can kind of see what I mean when I say you will have some issues. There is some glowing in the bottom corners. It's going to be even more pronounced, obviously, when you sit and you kind of look at it. Um, I mean, that obviously is pretty extreme. It's not quite that bad. I'll lower my ISO down to about there. That's about where I see it. Again, it's not the most horrible thing, but it's definitely noticeable. And it's something you will notice, like the corners kind of lighting up now. They kind of look like that. So it's it's not perfect. And it's not as bloom free as Samsung has claimed that it is. And that's the only reason I really want to show this off with, you know, my test patterns and things like that. So if you were wondering, is it actually bloom free? Those local dimming zones don't really account for much of anything with that claim, but it's okay. It's just what you'd find from a really nice full array television. But honestly, you don't need Samsung charging you the most amount of money they can possibly charge you to be able to pull off that result. I really hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.